Hello everyone. Proton animal spectrum gives you a lot of information about the structure of a molecule. One such information is obtained by the splitting pattern of the peaks obtained for different types of protons present in the molecule. So today we will talk about the spin-spin splitting. In fact, we will focus on the n plus 1 rule. So the signals of a proton or uh, more than one protons in proton NMR spectrum are split because of coupling with neighboring protons. Now these neighboring protons must be magnetically inequivalent to the protons under study. And they should be magnetically equivalent to each other so as to follow the n plus 1 rule. Now how the signals are split because of coupling is explained by the n plus 1 rule which states that if there are n number of magnetically inequivalent protons present in the vicinity of another proton then the signal of that proton is split into n plus 1 peaks. But the condition for n plus 1 rule is that the neighboring protons must be magnetically equivalent among each other. Now this table shows the multiplicity of the signals obtained as a result of the presence of neighboring protons. So if a proton does not have any proton in the vicinity then its signal is not split and it appears as a singlet written as small s. If a proton has one proton in the vicinity then its signal is split into two which we call a doublet. If a proton has two protons in the neighborhood then its signal is split into three we call it a triplet for three protons in the vicinity the signal is split into four five six and seven for the corresponding number of neighboring protons now you see the splitting pattern and multiplicity of ha which is written in white color here and we will place this ha in different conditions and then see its splitting pattern and in fact its multiplicity. So if we put HA in, the, in such a condition that it has only one proton in the vicinity. Now I have labeled these protons as HA and HB so as to differentiate between them. The different labels suggest that they are magnetically inequivalent to each other. A similar label will mean that they are magnetically equivalent to each other. And these X groups mean that these could be any heteroatom like nitrogen, oxygen, halogens or these could be any quaternary carbon meaning there is no hydrogen attached uh, to these carbon atoms, no other hydrogens attached and also uh, there are no carbon atoms uh, in place of these X which have hydrogen. So this H is uh, only in the neighborhood of this HP. Now here this carbon atom could have more hydrogens. It could have one hydrogen or more than one hydrogen but uh, they should be magnetically equivalent among each other. But uh, anyways we are talking about the splitting pattern of HA and he, we have placed it in a, a situation in which it is uh, in the neighborhood of only one magnetically inequivalent hydrogen. So if n is equal to 1 then the split uh, the signal is split into 2 because of the uh, according to n plus 1 rule. So n is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. The signal is split into 2 which is known as a doublet. And this doublet uh, appears more or less like this. This is a real-time uh, uh, a picture taken from a real-time spectrum uh, in which this signal appear appears as a doublet. And an example of such type of uh, molecules or this situation could be uh, this uh, dichloroethane in which you can see this CH3 written in white has three hydrogens and it has only one hydrogen in the vicinity in a different color meaning that it is magnetically inequivalent to these three hydrogens so the signal of this CH3 will be split into two because of this CH. 
Uh, interestingly, because uh, in this situation, uh, these two hydrogens are alone, so HB will also be split into uh, a doublet because of HA, because HA is alone. But in this case, the splitting pattern of CH will be different because we have three hydrogens here in the vicinity. Now, if you put HA in a situation in which it has two hydrogens close to it, uh, on the adjacent carbon atom and if you look at the labels these two are labeled as HP which means that they are magnetically equivalent among each other uh, similar to each other magnetically but different from HA now one of the conditions for uh, n plus one rule to be followed is that the neighboring hydrogens must be magnetically equivalent to each other so there are two hydrogens uh, in the neighborhood of HA and because and uh, according to n plus 1 rule the signal will be split into three and we call it a triplet which appears like this and a situation in which this HA will give a triplet could be in case of this ethanol molecule so you see CH3 uh, has a carbon atom which has two hydrogens attached to it now these are uh, magnetically inequivalent hydrogen hydrogens but these two hydrogens are magnetically equivalent to each other so n plus one rule will be followed and the signal of ch3 will be split into three because of these two hydrogens now if ha is put in a situation in which it is next to a ch3 now you see this is a ch3 in which uh, this carbon atom has three hydrogens and all are labeled as HP because they are magnetically equivalent to each other but different from HA. So according to n plus one rule the signal will be split into four and we call it a quartet which appears like this. And one such example could be of this CH2 which is next to a CH3 so this CH2 uh, has three hydrogens in the vicinity these two are magnetically inequivalent to each other and these three hydrogens are magnetically equivalent to each other so n plus one rule be, will be followed for uh, um, this CH2 and the signal of this CH2 will be split into four because of this CH3 Similarly, if HA is put in a situation in which now it has four uh, magnetically inequivalent hydrogens which are equivalent to each other, like these four HB are magnetically equivalent to each other. So, according to N plus one rule, the signal is split into five and we call it a quintet or you can also call it a pentet, which appears like this and you can have a molecule like this in which this CH uh, labeled in white uh, has four hydrogens which are magnetically inequivalent to this CH. Uh, so the signal of CH will be split into five because of these four neighboring hydrogens. Similarly, you can have five hydrogens in the vicinity of another hydrogen and because of that signal will be split into six you can have a septet if two ch3s are uh, next to a ch then the signal of that ch is split into seven because of the two ch3 groups now if you uh, remember or you go back uh, to the previous slides and see the uh, the splitting pattern or the relative intensities of these uh, peaks in this multiplet uh, they are different why they are different we will discuss that in detail in another video uh, in which we will explain the mechanism of uh, splitting we will discuss the pascal's uh, triangle uh, to explain the multiplicities or the relative intensities of the peaks in these multiplets and we will also discuss the splitting tree thank you so much for watching